Okay, today's project is a Predicta. Uh, this was picked up by a friend of mine, and he was told that the uh, owner sold it to him because it had a bad flyback, and or at least he thought it had a bad flyback. So my buddy got it, and with the intention of maybe salvaging the cabinet, which happens to be in really good shape, as the head shell is in good shape. I did a few quick tests. Uh, CRT tested good, had a light short in the uh, G1 short. Eh, kind of come and go. I'm not too worried about that. I tried clearing it, cleared, come back. I'm not real worried about it. But before we get into it too deep and relegate it to just a donor chassis, I asked my buddy, just let me, let me check it out and let's look at this flyback issue. Uh, clearly, here's the flyback. Somebody's done something here. I don't know what this is all about. That's not the wire that's typical to this flyback. Um, this thing appears to have all original caps. And what I did with my uh, my initial check was I used my BK1077 and I gave it a plate drive. And you know, just the, the quick test is you give it the plate drive that bypasses most of the circuitry and just touch the high voltage. What I noticed that was kind of interesting was when I would do that, the high voltage would come up immediately as soon as the set was switched on as the B plus is flowing which is odd that would come on instantly and then it would fade away as a da as the tube warmed up I tried pulling the damper tube out and when I did that the set would have about 10 kV of high voltage with the plate drive attached but that doesn't make any sense because the damper is the return circuit for the B plus that that is supposed to be working this thing. So something was really wacky going on. It shouldn't work with the damper pulled out. I got to thinking, well, what if there's some other return path besides going through the damper? And sure enough, on this set, there's a um, there's a booster, there, there's a B plus boost cap uh, that would do that. And I quickly checked the return path, and it had like about a, um, uh, I think it was about one about 10 10 kilo ohms return where it should have been about 180 uh, it's kind of hard I'll show you that I'll show the schematic later but anyway I checked and this was the boost cap it's a black booty okay that's that's no good I clipped it out and when I clipped it out I tried to set it again just the cap just the cap disconnected this time the, the HV would come up again to about 10 kV but this time with the damper tube installed before the damper would kill it. Now it won't work without the damper. So, oh, that's good. This thing, by the way, reads um, about 10 kilo ohms, the regular old volt ohm meter. So it's really bad. I just tacked in, just for test purposes, a 0.022. Uh, see so if you can see that red drop sitting there. Real sloppy. I just want to see if it work. And sure enough, after doing that, the high voltage came right up. And I'll, sh I'll demonstrate how the BK works. We turn it on. The plate drive is hooked up to the plate where it would. Put, by the way, the horizontal output tube won't light up either, so there's a problem there. The filament ground return or something like that's not working, so this is going to need some work. But anyway, the plate cap gets gets connected to the plate uh, drive socket, connect up the ground, uh, and everything else just stays as it is. I did this, and then you plug in the set. Let me go ahead and do that. I'm sorry to be taking these things at night. My shop light is not working so great, so everything's kind of kind of catches catch can, but I figure it's better to get the video than not to have anything at all. And the, and the vertical keeps collapsing. Uh, I have to mess around with this vertical tube. There's no doubt some intermittent contact going on here. One of the things we're going to look for here is boost voltage just came up. You see that red light just came on. This was me checking the... Uh, that's a good sign. And... We get a light raster. It's not very bright, but the high voltage is there. I did check it. I'm at 17 kV, so it's got plenty of high voltage. That's not a problem. Uh, test bulb, bingo, lighting up. That's good. Plenty of high voltage there. And uh, I hook up the uh, high voltage probe. I have around here somewhere. Let me get this hooked up.
this ground leads a little short on this thing, and I don't feel like getting zapped. So hang with me for just one second. And let's see if we can get a reading on the high voltage. Hope you can see that. And we're right up to I think I get a good connection on it. It's fire. There we go. There we go. Bingo. I'm at 18 kV. So anyway. HV is good. The darkness on the screen probably just has to do with some kind of problem with the uh, with the uh, video altitude. If the, the CRT isn't biased right, it'll just cut it off. I noticed that the brightness adjustment here had no effect. So there's I can't remember. I think that's the video altitude right there. I'll take a look at that. But the sound works. I tested the tuner earlier. And I can get a signal. Let's see if I can get it right now. I don't screw up anything here. Process. Let me see if I can get hooked up to it. I don't expect to get a picture because the sink would be all out of whack. But, it, you know, because the it's not using the right... I might get something, I guess. But clearly the sound's working well. So this thing's got a lot of promise. I just have to, uh, you know, go ahead and just gonna pull the PC board and do a recap and... Fix this drive issue here. It's got all these black views. They got, got all go. Fix that filament, and we'll be good to go. Anyway, from a part set to possibly a hero set. We'll see how it goes. Thank you very much.